Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Land and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 3rd of October. Maldives President to visit India expected to meet PF Modi to reset tides. India's wanted fugitive Zakir Naik meets Pak PM Shehbaz Sharif. And Hindu devotees in India and Nepal mark Navratri and Dashen festival. And after all the details, Maldives President Mohammad Muzu is likely to visit India this coming weekend from October 6 to 10, reports have suggested. A visit that is seen as an attempt to reset bilateral ties after an acrimonious period. While Mizu attended Prime Minister Narendra Modi's swearing in ceremony in June, this will be his first standalone bilateral visit to India almost a year after he assumed office in Malay. While Muzu's visit has been in works for about a month now, the issue was about finding mutually convenient dates. It is significant since India and Maldives witnessed a slight in their bilateral ties after Muzu assumed office last year on the plank of his India Out campaign. Soon after coming to power in November 2023, Muzu had requested India to withdraw its military personnel. A truck carrying a group of 33 migrants from India, Pakistan and Nepal were shot dead on Wednesday by Mexican soldiers, resulting in the death of at least six persons and leaving 10 injured. Mexican soldiers fired on the group as the pickup truck tried to evade a military patrol underlying tensions on Mexico's southern border as it faces U.S. pressure to contain migration. The pickup truck was followed by two vehicles similar to those used by criminal groups in the area it said and soldiers reported hearing explosions after which two officers opened fire. The deaths put a renewed spotlight on Mexico's policy towards migrants as well as the growing role of the military in the country's security. Mexico's defense ministry said the two soldiers had been removed from their post and federal prosecutors had been informed. Mexico has been under pressure by the United States to reduce the number of migrants arriving at their shared border, where record numbers of people have tried to cross in recent years, fleeing economic hardship and violence. Me duele mucho el corazón porque son hermanos que vienen sufriendo y encuentran la muerte nada más porque se, se les ocurrió disparar. Eso no es, no es posible. Vale la pena de veras tomar en cuenta esta situación porque las familias sufren. Wanted fugitive in India, the controversial Islamic preacher Zakir Naik met Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif on Wednesday. In a post on X, Pakistan state media PTV said Naik called on Sharif during his stay in Islamabad, where he is scheduled to deliver public speeches. Naik also met several ministers of the incumbent administration and also participated in the state media talk show. He arrived in Pakistan on Monday at the invitation of the Pakistan government to deliver speeches in Islamabad, Karachi and Lahore. Naik is, however, wanted in India for hate speeches and money laundering. His organization Islamic Research Foundation has been banned in India and Naik to face his terrorism charges after the attacker of 2016 Dhaka terror attack had claimed he was influenced by Naik's preaching. Zakir Naik has denied all these allegations and has been living in Malaysia, where he was granted permanent residency. India, however, has been attempting to extradite him. Ad hoc employees in POJK have continued their protests for over a week, demanding regularization. Despite serving for decades, these temporary employees continue to live in uncertainty, with government seemingly ignoring their pleas. A report. Ad hoc employees from various government departments in Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir have been protesting outside the Central Press Club in Muzaffarabad for over a week, demanding permanent employment status. Around 5,000 employees, many hired on temporary basis since 1992, continue to serve without permanent appointments, while Pakistan's federal government has regularized their counterparts elsewhere, the employees in POJK are living in severe distress. This is basic right. The basic right is that the right is made for 20 years, 20 years, 30 years, the golden time of their life is given to a person, gives their blood, and after that, these people are being taken care of. 
फॉरन से टेस्ट एंड रिव्यू लिए जाते हैं दुनिया में जितनी कंपनीज हैं जितने भी अदारे हैं वो मतलब एक्सपीरियंस लोग लेते हैं एक्सपीरियंस का नेमल बदल दुनिया में किसी जगह नहीं है लेकिन यहाँ पे इतनी बदबख्ती है हमारे सियासत में under the leadership of pml n an act was passed in 2021 but the successive government rolled back the legislation leaving many in limbo muslim league noon ki hukumat ne 2021 mein ek act banaya taaki ye jo silsila pichli hukumaton ki naali ki wajah se public service commission ki jo gair faali ki wajah se quote ki adam jo masawiyana jo taqseem hoti hai uski adam musawat ki wajah se और सर्वर्स रूल्स ना होने की वजह से जो इतना बड़ा तत्ल रहा है तो उसका उन्होंने अजाला कर दिया और दो हज़ार इक्कीस में एक एक्ट बना दिया लेकिन बाद में आने वाली हुकूमत ने जब वो ख़त्म किया तो उसके बाद आज चौथा साल शुरू हो गया है हम रोड्स पर हैं The problem of ad hoc employment in POJK has been a long-standing issue, with temporary employees working without job security or benefits for decades. The protesters claim that government officials are ignoring their grievances, driving past the sit-in without addressing the issue. The new Sri Lankan government during its first meeting with the IMF delegation said it's committed to the global lenders 2.9 billion dollars bailout package clinched by the previous Vikramasinghe regime and hope to renegotiate certain conditions. The meeting on Wednesday came 2 weeks after President Anurakumara Desanayake of the National People's Power was elected. The primary objective of the visit was to discuss necessary steps towards the release of the fourth tranche of the extended fund facility. Sri Lanka has already obtained three tranches of about 360 million dollars each. The third review for the release of the fourth disbursement is expected to happen in Washington later this month. The meeting marked a crucial step in reinforcing Sri Lankan's commitment to economic stability and securing continued support from the IMF. Bangladesh's interim government has recalled five envoys including the ambassador to neighboring India in a major diplomatic reshuffle a foreign ministry official said on Thursday The foreign ministry ordered envoys in Brussels Canberra Lisbon New Delhi and the permanent mission to the United Nations in New York to immediately return to Dhaka media reports have said The step follows the recall of Saida Munatasneem the high commissioner to Britain who was similarly asked to return While the media reports have suggested the diplomatic reshuffle is indicating a foreign policy change under the Muhammad Yunus led interim government none of the recalled ambassadors were politically appointees Meanwhile India's high commissioner to Bangladesh Pranay Verma held a meeting with foreign adviser Muhammad Tohid Hussain in Dhaka According to a report by news agency UNB during the meeting Bangladesh urged for resumption of regular visa processing by the Indian mission India has suspended visa issuance in Bangladesh since the unrest which led to former PM Sheikh Hasina's ouster. While New Delhi has allowed the issuance of emergency and medical visas, it has said full scale operation of Indian mission and regular visas will be resumed once situation returned to normal in Bangladesh. Devotees across India and Nepal on Thursday offered prayers in temples of Hindu goddess Durga to celebrate the beginning of Navratri and the Shan festival. Take a look. Devotees across India thronged temples on Monday on the first day of the Hindu festival of Navratri or Nine Nights festival. When majority Hindus worship goddess Durga in all her manifestations, there is a goddess manifestation linked with each day of Navratri. The beginning of the festival also marks the Hindu New Year. The temples were decorated for the occasion as devotees stood in serpentine queues, chanted religious hymns, and offered prayers to see Goddess Durga's blessings. Many devotees also observe fasts and some restrict their diet to fruit and vegetables, spurning meat, onions, and garlic during this nine-day period. This day, on Bhagwati Kalika, the day when people have their vrat and vrat ka aur anushthan ka shubharam. माँ का दर्शन करके करते हैं तो आज जो है लाखों की संख्या में भक्त लोग जो है माँ कालिका के दर्शन के लिए आए और आज उन्होंने अपने व्रत का जो है शुभारंभ किया इन वेस्ट इन मुंबई सिटी अज क्राउड ऑफ डेविटीज थ्रॉन्ग दी फेमस मुंबा देवी टेम्पल अकॉर्डिंग टू हिंदू माइथोलॉजी गॉडिस दुर्गा रिप्रेजेंट पावर दिन फोर्स विच गाइड्स एंड डिस्ट्रॉयज ऑल दी इविल फ्रॉम अर्थ It is believed that during Navratri the goddess Durga descends on earth to rid it of demons and bless her devotees with happiness and prosperity. 
और ये इसी माता की कृपा हमेशा रहने दे मुंबापुरी पे ही जो मुंबापुरी अगर संकट आए थे उस टाइम भी मुंबापुरी मामा माता जी जो थी तो उन्होंने बहुत मुंबई को संभाला है ऐसी ग्रुप हमेशा रहने दो बस मीन वाइल इन नेपाल दी मच सेलिब्रेटेड द शैन फेस्टिवल आल्सो बिगन फ्रॉम थर्सडे विद द घट स्थापना रिचुअल द इंप्लांटेशन ऑफ बार्ले एंड मेज इन अजार फिल्ड विद सोइल एंड काउडंग एट द हनुमान ढोका दरबार स्क्वायर गुरजु पल्टन अ मिलिट्री फोर्स टुक पार्ट इन द रिचुअल्स एज पर ट्रेडिशन द सेक्रेड जार इज टेकन आउट ऑन द 10th डे एंड द बार्ले इज ऑफर्ड टू डेविटीज एज पर बिलीफ Lord Ram had conducted similar rituals and went to fight with demons and got victory over them. Kal dekhi nai bada dasai ko yo rashtriya char ko upalachhe ma hami Nepali le nai manodai aira ko krom ma hamro Nepali sena ko sampurna ghar har ma hamro chai yo ghat sthapana rakhne chalan cha. Bishesh gari hamro ajo yo darbar yo hamro Hanuman Dhoka ma hamro Guruju Palton ko chai yo पड़ापुरो काल देखि नहीं हमें घट स्थापना दिन शुभ साइत को समय में हमें जमरा राखे हमें आज नित्य पूजा करें हमें जमरा राखने कार्य गये ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया